In this lesson, you will practice solving some problems by working with numbers in scientific notation. Let's solve a problem together. The number of users on a website was 75 million in 2011 and 92 million in 2012. Write each number in scientific notation, then find how many more users there were in 2012 than 2011. Let's deal with the first part of this problem. We have to convert some numbers to scientific notation. Which numbers? So we have 75 million here, and then our other number that we have is 92 million, and this is the number of users in 2012. So let's write both of these numbers in standard notation, and I'm going to abbreviate million, and 92 million. And in standard notation, these numbers look like this. Now that we know the numbers in their full standard notation, you can begin to write the numbers in scientific notation. And to do that, remember that scientific no notation has the form of a factor, and I'll represent that with A here, times a power of 10. And because these numbers are large numbers, you're going to use a positive power of 10. And let's start by finding the factor. So for 75 million, you put a decimal point after the first non-zero digit in the number, which happens to be 7. So that means your uh, factor is 7.5. Okay, now count how many places the decimal point needs to move to the right, and that's your power of 10. That needs to move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. So the power of 10 is 10 to the 7. Do the same thing for 92 million. Put the decimal point after the first non-zero digit, which is right here is the 9. Your factor becomes 9.2. And because I see that these numbers have 10 million and million, and then they have six zeros here, um, and by 10 million and million, I mean the place values, and then they have six zeros, the decimal point is going to have to move the same number of places, so you can use the same exponent. So you get 10 to the 7 here as well. Now, to find out how many more viewers there were, or users, sorry, in 2012 than 2011, you're going to subtract. And I'm going to write that subtraction down below. And here you have uh, the number from, so the number I wrote first is the 2012 figure of users, and I'm subtracting away the number of users in 2011 to find the difference. So notice something interesting here is that you have a factor multiplied by a power of 10 in both cases and in this situation the powers of 10 are the same so you can take advantage of the distributive property here to help you solve and so what I'm gonna do is factor out the the power of 10 so this becomes 10 to the 7 times 9.2 minus 7.5 and so here what you do is you subtract the numbers in the parentheses so 9.2 minus 7.5 is 1.7 and this is multiplied still by the power of 10. And you can, ex you can convert this back to scientific notation by writing it as 1.7 times 10 to the 7. This is equivalent. And then expand this to standard form, and you can give an answer for the difference in users between 2012 and 2011. So I'll do that up here. 1.7 and times 10 to the 7 means the decimal point will move 7 places to the right, and you will add 6 zeros, right? Because you move it one place, the decimal point goes to the end of the 7, and then you need to move it 6 more places, which will be your zeros. So let's add 6 zeros to the end. And here you go. Your answer is 17 million. There were 17 million more users in 2012 than 2011. Let's solve another problem together. Okay, solve the following problem. 2.4 times 10 to the 12 divided by 1.2 times 10 to the 8th. Now this might seem a little complicated, but I'm going to rewrite it in a form that hopefully will help you be able to solve this a little bit easier. Let me do that for you. I've rewritten this division problem, and as you can see, I've taken away the traditional multiplication symbol, and I've used the parentheses, and when I do this, it's the same thing. I didn't do anything to change the number. I'm just changing the way that it's written, and this makes you know some of the solving methods a little bit easier to see. So here, you just have a coefficient, basically. The factor becomes a coefficient, and it's being multiplied by a power of 10. It's the same thing in the numerator and the denominator. So what you can do to solve here is divide uh, the factors, so 2.4 divided by 1.2, and then use properties of exponents to divide the powers of 10. And I'm going to start that for you below, and I'm going to solve in blue. 
So over here, let's just do 2.4 divided by 1.2. This is 2, right? Because 1.2 is half of 2.4. So my first number here is 2. And then use properties of exponents. The quotient of powers property is the one you're going to need to use. And that one is if you have two exponents that have the same base, so a and a, one is raised to the power of m, one is raised to the power of n. And to find the quotient of these, you keep the base the same and subtract the exponents. So that's what the property looks like. Now apply this to the numbers that you see here in the problem. So to apply to this property to the powers of 10, you're going to find the quotient of the powers by subtracting the exponents and keeping the base the same. So you keep the base of 10, and you're going to subtract 12 minus 8, and that's your new exponent. 12 minus 8 is 4, so you get 10 to the 4. So when you divide these two numbers in scientific notation, you get 2 times 10 to the 4, and expand this to your traditional way in scientific notation. You get 2 times 10 to the 4, and that's what you get when you divide. Let's solve another problem. All right, let's solve a multiplication problem. Multiply 1.5 times 10 to the negative 3 by 2.0 times 10 to the fifth. To do this, begin by multiplying the factors together. And you can do this because when you're multiplying, remember that the order that you multiply in does not matter, and you basically have four numbers being multiplied by each other. So start with the factors. 1.5 times 2 equals 3. So you know the factor is going to be 3, and we'll put 3.0 since we have the significant digit here of 0. So you're going to have 3.0. Now, multiply the exponents, or the bases rather. So to do this, you have to use the uh, product of powers property. And that one looks like if you have two pro uh, powers that are raised to different powers that have the same base, you add the exponents together to find the product. So here, you have the same base, 10, and 1 is raised to the negative 3, and 1 is raised to the 5. So when you go to multiply by the product of powers property, you get 10 to the negative 3 plus 5. 10 to the negative 3 plus 5 is 10 to the 2. So your answer is 3.0 times 10 squared, or 10 to the power of 2. In this lesson, you have learned how to solve problems using numbers in scientific notation. Happy solving!